All right. We have another little piece here. It's uh, three inches tall, one inch by one inch. So it's three inches by one inch by one inch. Three inches thick, three in uh, one inch wide, one inch thick. Same thing as what we've been doing. All right, now, when it comes to characters, I mean, you can spend, I mean, you can just have an array of characters, just an array of them. So first of all, I'm gonna come down just one inch and I'm gonna mark all go and from the bottom I'm gonna come up about a about a half an inch somewhere around there Okay. Basically, you see that you start off with the same techniques the whole time. You just begin to decide what is it that I want to carve or what figure do I want to carve. That's that's the whole the whole premise of it more than anything in the world. What do I want to carve? What is it that I am interested in carving? And there's an array of characters that you can carve when it comes to, uh, uh, I'm on a bit more, when it comes to um, these figures. Now, you are limited when you're working with a block of wood, when it's, you know, that small, you can't have a hand sticking way up or whatever it is because you are, are coming out like that and coming up. Basically, um, that's not the way it's going to work. Now, once you get your face... I didn't make a deep enough cut. There we go. Sometimes when you first start, and we make a cut back here, and a cut back here, and that's where we establish our head okay and the same thing with our shoes Come down. All right. We've established our same thing that we've done last time. Now we have to decide what do we want to do? What is it that we want to do? For this one, let's go ahead and make a little businessman with a carrying a suitcase. Okay? We'll do that. We can make little Indians, we can make uh Oh god, we can make now someone said we'll make a cowboy. The problem is with this, you know, we would have to make a real small cowboy just to be able to make a cowboy hat because it's, uh, I don't really have enough room here to make a, 
a uh, cowboy hat. Not really. I mean, he would have to be a really small character. Uh, so, those are best. But we can try. Anyway, let's go ahead and do it like we normally do. Come from each side. And begin to take this off in here, rounding that up. Now, we make a we make a choice on our head. Do we want to carve I mean you can do hobos, you can do all kind of figures. I've done a lot of hobos in my life. I love doing hobos because I love that era and I love to talk about it. Okay, see that? All right, now, we make our choice what we want to do. Do we want to put a hat on him? And so let's do that. Let's, let's put a hat on him. Uh, let me get my... Let's just go ahead and come right about right here and make the brim of the hat. We're just going to kind of come around here like this. So that I have plenty of room for the face and everything like that. Now in doing that, I have to cut all the way around this hat. Okay, so before we take off too much, let's go ahead and cut around and make our hat. See that? And it's just to basically, you take your knife, like this, and you run it there, and then you come back and do a little V-cut. It's just a matter of V-cuts, folks. That's what I do. I mean, it's a matter. Now, I know you can use a gouge. You can do things like that. I like to use the knife. I, I, in fact, 95% of my figure is done with a knife. Now, some people don't do that. They use gouges and stuff like that. I don't. I use a knife. I use a knife a lot. And you just continue to go around this figure. With the hat. All right. Okay, the next thing, let's go ahead and bring this up. I'm going to go ahead and come around this, this way with my... head. Okay? See that? I'm going to just come up underneath here. So you have your head, your body, and your shoes. Just like we in at all times. 
All right. Now, let's go ahead and continue taking all around here. Okay. Now he looks a little strange, don't he? Okay. Let's go a little bit deeper. All right, now on this hat, we're gonna go ahead and start making the top of the hat and the brim. So, what you do is you just come over here and you just make a little cut, come to the top of it, make a little cut, come to the top of it. Now I know Jack Price does his different. Jack Jack scoops it up and then he go makes a little brim and stuff all around the house. But this is the way I do it. In carving a compact character, Jack does it a different, totally different way than me. And I begin to go around just taking. He kind of makes the top of his hat first off. Be careful. All right, as you can see the top of the hat already beginning to be made okay it's not made yet but you can see that of course the brim is all going to have to be brought down so you have to go around have to bring the brim down and I'll show you on a lot of these characters how Jack does it In fact, most people have done videos on how Jack has done it. All right. See that? I come around here. And I start bringing that brim down. And I continue bringing that forward. Okay. Now.
There we go. See how I just go around the hat, making little cuts, bringing that brim down, coming from the inside. There you see it. Now, we're going to bring the face in even more. And once again, I just kind of come up here. Bring that brim down. Okay. You want to be careful. You have to have a sharp knife. Bring that brim down. And I just sort of bring the top of it down. All right. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and bring our face down. And then you just sort of bring that up underneath there. From side to side to get to bring your nose. Just like that. So there's our head now. We come from each side, taking some off so that we can get our nose done. And our nose will go probably somewhere right in here. Okay? We come across there, and we make our nose. You come up, cut it, come to the side, and we cut it. All right, well, there's the starting of our, of our nose. It's kind of hard, I know, to see in here. I'm just kind of cutting that nose back just a little bit. If I want to make the nose deeper, I just cut, I cut from both sides of the nose uh, to bring it out even further, in other words, okay?
All right. Let me come down with that brim a little bit. And we just round it off. Okay. Okay, see that? We want to come down on both sides, about right in here. Come down. We cut that. We come down on the other side. We cut that and we cut from the inside of the face, just like that. And we cut our face down. Now, let's go ahead and remove some of this wood in here, right underneath the head, which will bring our face out tremendously there we go see now let's come up here and just try to straighten this out right here <laughs> 